Hey guys, it's the Dollar Dog 17 bringing you a new episode of Uncharted 3. Try this door. It's no good. Not getting in this way. I bet I can climb up through that hole. I bet you can. Let me guess. You're gonna sit tight, smoke a cigar again. Yeah. All right. Don't burn the place down. And I don't really think Sully could burn the place down with a cigar, but you never know, because you know, weird yeah. stuff happens in these games, and it's quite yeah. interesting. But, uh, yeah, so we got Nathan Drake basically climbing, and I think that I am really glad, well, no, <laughs> I know that I'm glad I finished Nate Hill, and now I just have D'Artagnan Walker and this, but, uh, I don't really know if I'm gonna do Madden 25, I'm just kinda sick of football video games right now, so it depends on what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure though, but here we are. Looking to uh, try to help Sully get in this place. And this looks quite interesting. As we're going to jump down here. Oh, that's going to hurt. Thing just completely broke. It's unstable. And that was not pretty at all. Alright, back up. I'll shoot the lock off. Make sure that's the only thing you shoot off. I said lock. You good? Okay. We gotta make our way through the chateau to the gardens. That's where we'll find the old keep. Well, guys, we basically just shot a window for no reason. And the other shot we took was to help Sully. But here we're gonna lift this thing up. And. Of course. Guess who's gonna be climbing? Classic Nathan Drake. Looks like those chandeliers are on some kind of pulley system. Yeah, must be how they lowered them down to clean them. Hey, there's some kind of mechanism over there. I have an idea. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, so now it looks like we gotta climb a, or I guess grab onto these chandeliers and make our way across to the other side, which is right behind him right now, to the right, right there. Right, right, right. And here we go. So we're looking right here. We're going to come over here. And what we have to do is push this huge uh, log thing. All right, here we and go. once we do that, that should help right. Sully get in the door. In. And now Nate has to push it back. But he's gonna right get down. through right here. Okay, let's see if we can find a way to that tower. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, Nate. Square tower. Looks pretty old. Yeah. That matches the one in Lawrence's notebook. That must be it. Nice. Thanks. So what we are trying to do is get to the tower and retrieve whatever the heck's there. But uh, first, we have to make our way up there before we can do anything, really. And let's see. I'm still running through here, trying to find a way out. Sorry my voice is a little weird today. I uh, am tired. So, yeah. But that's all right because, you know, Nathan Drake is just an awesome character and can make up for my little mistakes if I make any. So here we go. Hey, Nate. Isn't this the same symbol that was on the tower? Yeah. That's got to mean something, right? Maybe a secret passage? In a fireplace? Kind of on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, too simple. Something weird about these suits of armor. Come here, check it out. So we tried shooting the glass. That didn't seem to work either. And Nate's checking out the suits of armor, and this is gonna take a little bit of time, guys, so. Um you have to basically turn these, and I don't really know how. I'm just gonna shorten up these clips. But uh I'll just let you guys watch and see what I did. Obviously, I wasn't going to be as fast as everybody else who did it. Uh, like Machinima and all them. So, just be patient and watch. And, you know, because I didn't know how to do this before. But I figured it out, so, yeah. So, just watch. Maybe we gotta turn each night so it's facing the right way. Yeah, but what's the right way? So we finally got to the last one, and actually, Secret Passage Sully was right. A secret passage. All right, gotta hand it to you, Sully. Okay, I'll push, you pull. On three, ready? Wait, one, two, pull, or one, two, three, pull? Just pull. Got it. All right, just pull, you know, because that's exactly what's going to happen. You know, you just fall through there. And there's no way you're getting out. Hey, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll live. There's no way I'm getting back up there. I'm gonna head this way. Just meet me on the other side. You got it. You be careful down there. Right. So, basically like a cave in France. You know, you never see this, but uh, I guess you do now. So you're, um, we're looking through here, but before we go through, uh, that passage, we're gonna have to go get this treasure that we somehow found right here. 
and don't even think we inspected it but kinda looks cool and we're gonna run through here now back to where we were a second ago we can get through this little passageway and it looks like we're getting through here alright um, oh man he just got almost infected with spiders right there that was quite interesting Skyfall right here, sort of. Okay, not really. But wow, that's a lot of water right there. Oh, he's still underwater. Alright, now he's up. And he's looking for a way through here. Alright, so he's kind of gotten a little wet. We were just going for a little more of a swim, though, right here. Just enjoying ourselves. And... Now he's back to walking. He's walking on the water like Jesus. Okay, not really. Because Jesus would be on top of the water. But Nathan Drake is just uh, looking at this cave, wondering what the heck he needs to do. Uh, I don't think it's to go down there. I'm pretty sure of that. But once you get up here, you got to go over here. And then once you're over there, you climb up this stuff. Oh, thank God. Way out. All right, I should be able to climb up through there. Piece of cake. They're here somewhere. Hunt them down. Ah, so Talbot's here. I'm pretty sure that's Talbot. I, if I remember the characters correct. And oh, that was just a beautiful hang kill right there. Uh, couldn't have been done more perfectly. But, so Nathan, or sorry, my uh, vocabulary just kind of was messed up right there. But here he is, he's trying to stealth attack these guys. And he's up too much. So there we go, they're shooting at him. Got some combat here. Looks like this guy's got an arm micro. And here we go, he almost killed him. We got this guy to kill now. Oh, he's got a shotgun? Is that a shotgun? Pretty sure. They're both dead. And now we got the arm micro. This thing is pretty bad um, aiming, but it's actually pretty accurate up close. But at long range, it's really bad. Yeah, we want the arm micro. We want. We do not want the 45 defender. The guy wasn't like even looking at where he was shooting. Although I guess in this game, nobody looks at where they're shooting. You know, they just kind of go all random on everybody. Alright, now we're getting the shotgun. And once these guys pop out of nowhere, we're just gonna BOOM! Blow his brains out. How nice, you know? Oh, and we got AKs now. We find that a little more useful. Alright, so we're still ducking. And we're getting around here. Somehow we're gonna have to warn Sully though. So here he is looking to kill this guy. You are gonna go boom soon. Bye bye. Great day for you, fellow British dude or whatever you are. And we're sitting right next to it. An explosive. Probably not a good idea. But, you know, we just basically blew the whole other side of the car off. And oh man. That is not going to do us good. We've got enemies everywhere. We're about to die. And we're, then we regain our health again. So then we're looking at this guy. 
he just came out of nowhere and got his brains just exploded. And that guy's right there. We can't even see where everybody's shooting at us. We're trying to get out of cover, so then we have to move around this burning bus, van, <coughs> SUV, whatever it is. And then this guy's gonna go bye bye. Such a horrible shot he is. He, you know, we're we're basically just camping, and he can't even shoot us. So, <coughs> not uh, going too well for that guy. And here we go. We're still hiding from the enemies. Talbot's enemies or Talbot's, I guess not Talbot's enemies. Talbot's friends, his soldiers. And now we're taking cover here for some reason. I don't know what that guy's shooting at. Can't be us. You now he's shooting at whatever the heck. And there you are. Headshot. Beautiful. Nathan Drake's probably got a large kill count, you know? Would be actually interesting to see how many kills he has in uh, these games. So now we gotta climb up this. Uh, after we kill all these enemies although there might be more not sure yep definitely there's more this guy's got a shotgun where did you come from go no you're... thank you <laughs> that was a great uh choke strangle death thing oh that's where this guy is oh we almost died again he had the shotgun, he just came out of nowhere. That's where all these guys are coming from. We've got a sawed-off shotgun. Oh, actually, we don't. But, uh, here we go. We're gonna throw this grenade. Blow up these guys. I don't understand why they duck all the time. When they're, like, right next to the... Um, grenade. But maybe that's just because this is on normal. And not hard or crushing or whatever the hardest levels of this game are so we're looking to get through here more enemies and what we're gonna have to do this is a pretty cool scene right here because not only do we blow these guys brains out we also make a passageway for us so that makes it really convenient doors locked have to find another way in eight to here So not only are we fighting these enemies, we're also trying to help Soli in the process, which is kind of cool, because it always ends up like that. And there's two enemies right here, we didn't even notice, they just you know, snuck up. And you're gone too. So have a great day. Um, we've got the AK right now, we're running low on ammo. Uh, where's this, where are all these guys coming from? Oh, just nailed right in the head. We also kicked him, so that made it even better. We're just like, why are these guys just coming up from here and, you know, surprising us completely? We've got the shotgun now. Um, so now we're going to run down here and hopefully get some enemies. But that's... Oh, beautiful. You're, you're gone. And that's like the last of them. Except, there's obviously more, but Sully just, you know, can deal with it. We're, we've, de we've dealt with enough, yeah, dealt with enough enemies, and there's no way the shotgun is gonna make the range. The pistol might, though. And, oh, he just basically killed himself with his own grenade. I probably should've just shot this guy with a shotgun, but, you know, the choke strangle also works, too. And... Where is, uh, Sully? I don't know where he went. He's probably around here somewhere. Hello. 
How are you, buddy? You just, uh, we're, we're not, uh, crap, we're, we're, like, surrounded. There's Sully. Oh, there's, who's was brains out with a shotgun. Uh, blowing people's brains out is not, uh, nice of a term, I guess. But, uh, oh, this, <laughs> that guy hit Nate just, like, a million times, and he hit him once, he was already out. Because apparently he has that power. Oh, crap, grenade. Now we gotta throw the grenade back. And it's exploded. That's a really cool ability, because you were never able to do that in Uncharted 2. Oh, beautiful punch. So we're gonna take his arm micro, and we've got the shotgun, I'm pretty sure. You're gone. Have a good day. Where's the other guys? Uh... Hey, it's Assassin's Creed Man! Kind of. It's like he's got these... Why does... Why would Talbot have, like, these street thugs? Doesn't make sense. Like, maybe they have a gun, but, like, they're not that good. Nope, another grenade. Why are we running towards it? Oh, well. Just got shot. Alright, I want some ammo. Give me some ammo. Oh, well, apparently we didn't grab the ammo for some reason. Alright. Now, time to run up here, throw this grenade, and boom. I think he's dead. Not sure, but looks like he is. Up this way. Come on, Sully, give me some help with this door. Yeah. All right. Which way now? Hey, look at this. What the hell? It's one of Talbot's men. It was. That's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? No idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. There's probably like some zombie things around here or something, but uh, this is the end of part one, guys. This puzzle that is going to take hours to complete, not really, but it took me a while, so I had to record in a bunch of sections, yeah. so um, part two will be next, and you guys are going to get to see the end of this chapter. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.